Hi, my name is Dr. Pecoraro. I'm a chiropractor in Westfield, New Jersey. I've also been a wrestler and a coach. And today I wanted to speak about wrestling from both sides. Now, this is something that you really need to learn, is how to wrestle from either side. Because otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to get down on your hands and knees one day, and your opponent's going to come over and get up on the other side, and you're not going to know what to do, because everything's going to be backwards. So, at practice, make sure you practice both sides, especially from the bottom position. Standing, it won't make as much difference, but you should do it there too, because when you're wrestling with your opponent, sometimes they'll put one leg out in front of them, sometimes they'll put the other leg out in front of them. And you want to be ready either way. If you're on, if you're on the top, you still want to be on either side, practice from either side, because you may be wrestling somebody, if you remember in the Rocky movie, he was really a left-handed boxer, and in the one movie, I believe it was Rocky too. he boxes right-handed, and then switches at the end. So you might want to do something like this in a match with somebody who's particularly good. Be wrestling them one way, and then all of a sudden you're on the other side, and this is like going to maybe throw them off in the middle of the match unless they've been practicing from both sides. Now you don't have to practice both sides the same amount, but at least do the opposite side a little bit. And some things you can do from either side. Most of the standing things you can do from either side, and most of the stand-ups you can do from either side, with no matter which side the man is on. So Take this into consideration. Do it. Practice it even with pinning combinations because you never know which arm is going to be up by the guy's head. Let's talk it over with your coach. Do it a little bit in practice, and I hope it helps you. Thanks.